It's Nancy with Garden Scroll, and we got rain last night. Beautiful spring rain. We can hear the thunder. And um, babe, how much did we get? How much rain? One and three tenths. One and three tenths. So that's a a good little spring rain. The garden loved it. And now is the perfect time to plant or transplant because they don't go into transfer shock. So I'm not sure. Today is the 4th of April that I won't get this post on today, but it will be my introductory to the post that I do put on. And today I'm going to do some of that planting and transplanting and dig up some to take to my mom and put in her garden. And uh, it's not a good time for clipping back the old stuff because it gets wet and it's, it doesn't just break off easily. So I like it to just break off what will and then you can clip the rest. But um, I still have a lot to clean out, but we'll get there. Our pastor's wife was saying uh, the other day or last Sunday that she was cleaning out some of her gardens because they're going to sell their house and she said and I was out there and I said and Nancy really likes this but I sent her straight immediately because no I do not like the cleanup part I hate the cleanup part actually there's a lot of things I hate about the garden <laughs> And that's uh, the heat of summer. Oh my goodness. I always wonder, am I going to make it through it this year? <laughs> but once I get all this old dead stuff out of here, I'm going to love it for as long as the weather will let me. And then I'll suffer through. I'll suffer through that miserable heat the best that I can uh, until, well, until fall weather brings cooler weather and we get to enjoy it for hopefully longer than we have the last two years but I just wanted to say actually there's a scripture that I want to add on to this and I'm not going to try it right now because I would just chop it all up but I will get that scripture and read it off to you correctly when I put this on Hebrews 12 and 2 looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. So that's why I love the garden. Not for all that work I put in it, although I'm sure in some ways it's good for me as in other ways it destroys my knees <laughs> and no telling what else but that glory and joy of knowing that there's a there's beauty that God made in the beginning and it's still here for us to enjoy and just to be able to put something together and know that God did this at one point and that he left some of some of it as far as the birds probably carried it from the Garden of Eden, even though the gates were locked, no one was going back in there again. But uh, but he left some for us, or allowed us to have some that we could. I wonder sometimes does he does he realize that we wouldn't appreciate things if we didn't work hard for them? Because that's pretty much the way we are but definitely worked hard for my garden and I I do love it I enjoy it so much don't ask me that when it's 110 outside and I'm out there for five hours a day trying to water just enough to make it live but um, that's the way it is and uh, that's the joy of of gardening the joy of sharing it with others and uh, the joy of sharing it with God himself and knowing that he's looking down and and just enjoying seeing that someone else is following maybe in his footsteps um, it's good to look at it that way and I do think he is very concerned with every aspect of our lives and um, you know he endured all that he endured for us because he loved us 
and because he knew that there was glory in heaven that we just had to all get to that point. So we did pick up our oldest daughter and we went to my mother's and cleaned her little flower bed out and we actually took her a few flowers uh, for her birthday. So my husband, my oldest daughter, our oldest daughter, and myself are at Horse Creek Nursery, and you are going to love this today. I, I love this place. It's beautiful. They have all kinds of garden decor. Look, this is the perfect kind of cactus for me right here, and then there's more. Look at these over here. I would love to get this little goat for my mother. She loves little goats anyway. She would just love that. <laughs> These are the kind of cactus I need right here. This little part right here is always my favorite. Uh, but the whole place is my favorite. <laughs> but especially, but this is the annual barn. I, I've already got two trays full. So, <laughs> but uh, they have some of the prettiest plants too. This one that big Kong coleus and look how they put this together all these different um, textures and sizes and it's just so pretty there's the succulent display and then uh, here's one in pots I was especially admiring this one over here isn't that pretty all those beautiful textures um, and then I have I, I've already told you that I've decided to do more geraniums and these are the little seed geraniums that they have for two dollars a piece so I did have to get one of each color I love 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 the caliber choice I'm not that good at them or either they're just not that good in Oklahoma I don't know which it could just be me but these are so beautiful Perfusion zinnies, you can't beat those for fall for sure. They're so pretty. These are the pretty white petunias that just keep going and going. And back there is the bacopa, which is my one of my very favorites too, because it's the most beautiful trailing plant to put in a container. There's the polka dot plants back there. The pretty um, sweet potato vines here, and this is, is a beautiful color too. I may have to come back and get that one. I, I did get some pentas. They also have these for two dollars, and that's really nice. And and I've learned that not only I always knew that they uh, drew the butterflies in, but now I've learned that they also last all summer long even in our Oklahoma heat they'll last all the way through this is just my haven right here with all these beautiful coleuses I, I love them they're wonderful because you can find them for sun or shade every color doesn't have to wait to bloom it's always in color it's just wonderful I love the coleuses and they too, as pretty and, and fragile looking as they are, they are tough enough for uh, Oklahoma sun. They're the last thing to go. They'll last until the first frost. This beautiful copper, look at that. And then I, I told you before, you cannot beat a redhead coleus. And then these are chocolate covered cherry coleus. It's so bright and pretty. Blue plumbago. I really like this in the fall, it shines too. Let's see, what is this called? Artemis, it's a Powers Castle. Um, that's really pretty. I love the soft blues. I usually use Dusty Miller, uh, but I love the Dusty Miller because honestly, every color will play off the Dusty Miller and be brighter and prettier and just shine more. These are the um, verbenas. Oh my goodness, this says it's perennial. 
I was thinking this was annual. I think I want to try some of this perennial verbena and get it started someplace in my garden. I had the red one time but uh, it did finally go ahead and die out and I'm not sure what the problem was with that but uh, I want to try it again because I always enjoyed it so these are the beautiful double flower dianthus I'm going to definitely try a lot more of the vinca but I'm going to wait on that today not get that today necessarily I'm, I hope I'm not getting too early by getting any of them today uh, but I just couldn't resist. So beautiful. Look at that caliber choa. I wish all of mine would do that. This is another one that we were noticing is so pretty with several different uh, shades of green and several different textures. Beautiful uh, oak leaf hydrangeas. I want one of those someday too. Um, and this is, let me get this little. Um, this is the snowball bush. I have one of these. My mother has one of these. Of course, ours are not quite this big of a bud on it yet, but these are um, almost, well, they are blooms. They just haven't turned quite their white color. They'll soon look like snowballs. Beautiful hostas. Parker corbels. Oh, this place will make you get excited about planting, that's for sure. Uh, I have a place that just naturalized with many wort. It's coming up everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but in that certain area. I can get a start of it anytime I want, and it's a beautiful little trailing over the pot plant. Uh, this is also a many wort, but it's the darker green. And this one is a variegated mini wart. I had to have one of those today. <laughs> this is a licorice. I love it too. I particularly, this is kind of a variegated. And I'm particularly fond of just the mint, the little mint. And I don't see that here right now. But there, it's very pretty. Some more of the coleus and this corella. I want one of these too. They're so pretty in the in the garden, and it's like um, sun to part sun. So you can just put this right out in the big middle of the garden where there is no shade, or or just a little shade, and it will just do wonderfully. Coming up on the labelia, which this for summer heat and in Oklahoma. I have not a whole lot of luck with it, but it's so beautiful. I usually try some of it. I love this in with the yellow and white color of choa. They look like they were made for each other. Look at this pretty bacopa. I think I, show, I showed you it from the other side, but just so pretty. I love every color of it. Uh, it too is kind of like the color of choa for me, or even the petunias. Um, which are very common and yet somehow for our Oklahoma heat they don't do just real well after well they do for a, a short time or even a pretty good time but when the real heat sets in they usually don't make it but these are the Kong coleus look at those huge beautiful leaves so pretty this is the alyssum, in purple and white. Um, the beautiful Persian shield. I had a terrible time getting this to stay, that beautiful purple. I'm going to try some right under the eave of the house this year and hope that the more sun will help it. Uh, mine usually look like this in the leaf right here. Almost no purple and tip with brown at the ends and that's just not right for this beautiful beautiful plant it needs to have all of its colors shining look at these gorgeous begonias oh my those are so pretty love the begonias those big old pretty blooms look at the, these colors right here oh my there's your orange your red and your beautiful pink
And there's a pretty yellow there too. So my husband's gonna hold this for me because I wanted to get it up where you could see these stems. This is just a Bright Lights Swiss chard. And if you put this in a pot where you can see the stems, they are so eye-catching. I'll have to get this one. I just had to put this one on here too. This, I don't know, but it may be my favorite of the Kong coleuses. Um, they're all so pretty, it's hard to tell. And I wanted, my daughter pointed this one out to me a little bit more, but this color, it's red and pink. And together, that combination, that just screams at you. So if that other pot wasn't my favorite, this one would be, because it's got that beautiful uh, painted concolius as well as these other ones. Oh my, look at that. All, at least, what, four? Four different colors in there. Maybe, maybe five. No, I think that's just the underside of these, but isn't that pretty? I'm kind of fond of this color right here in the petunia with that those little spotted purple. That's pretty. I love this one. I had one of these last year and it did great. Just great. This is a pretty little muted color too. I love it. Um, they're so, so pretty. So pretty and bright and makes you really want to get into gardening. <laughs> Which I should be finishing out my gardening instead of uh, looking at plants. But it, we had a little miss and I couldn't get out there right away. So therefore <laughs> here I am so that was my favorite but that's not to say all this other if I had money <laughs> this would probably be my favorites too but I don't usually get all this beautiful stuff here for the garden occasionally I'll get a little but isn't all this beautiful look at this bunch of I guess those are um, violas or Johnny Jump Us, but isn't that pretty? Help, but it's good. I don't know. Oh, this is bad. Oh, you're going to stay out. 
So after we got back from Horse Creek, uh, we did clean out the back fence row. My daughter and I, my husband had got a lot of it done. And then afterward, we actually had time to sit and watch the birds for a little while. So I think that's probably close to a perfect day to get accomplishment and be able to rest and relax a little bit too. So we really had a great day and the weather is of course just beautiful i'm sure anybody that got to be outside uh, was truly enjoying it and anybody that didn't were wishing they were out there today this is one of those rare days when it's the weather is beautiful it did start out with that sprinkling but without that we probably would have just stayed home and worked all day but this way we got a trip to a nursery that was beautiful and fun as well as some work done and some relaxation. <laughs> 